taking <clears throat> taking some of Mount Shasta with me for the first time. I've never done that. I should. Now that uh, I don't come here that often. I met a beautiful being by the name of Shambhala. Uh, and we talked about spirituality. And our purpose, our path, the setbacks, the feelings. It was really beautiful. It's a really beautiful conversation and I try to get my girlfriends to come and listen, but um, it just, I don't know, it was just him and I talking about all of that and it was just like, I felt like I needed to hear that stuff. And uh, just a lot of the things that he said resonated so deeply. I'm okay. okay. And um. Today, today I decided I needed to wear my all my necklaces that mean something special to me to keep me strong and keep me going and represent what I represent. And I meet this beautiful being that I'm pretty sure was from the mountain. And my girlfriends agree that there's something to it. There's something to it. Very special. goes by the name of Shambhala and I'm very blessed to have run into him. We hugged for what seemed like the longest time and then when we looked at each other again we just kind of stared at each other like the information that's transferred it just made me feel like exactly where I need to be doing exactly what I need to be doing. I'm doing a great job at my mission here. Just understanding, mutual understanding, mutual love. It was really beautiful. And it just got me really emotional. <laughs> Can't even express to you how deep that was. Telepathically, I knew. Everything just came down really quick. So strong. And as it was, I was um, feeling my twin flame energy being up here. And so I felt it even more. Like when I feel some stuff like that that validates me, I feel like I have to share it with my twin flame because it's part of our soul connection. And I feel like the message is relevant to him as well. Thanks.